abana ba boda abasinga obunje nyo bakwatidwa amuganda wange ampuliriza nawe andaba wetu embera bwe limu kubanga ate etambula amubitundu ebya abim bwetu tabo chiri abaganda bange basaba ne banyabo amwena abali kusama Uganda amaze okubanga aingira abim Bwetu embera bwe baganda bange basomo ne banyabo mwenna abali kusama Uganda tuli live abim tuli live abim tuli live abim Bwetu emela bweri ensanyu lya lyolengera muganda wange ngachagulanya ayingira abim bamuwerekede okuva ekaramo jampaka mu kibuga cha abim bamuwerekede okuva mu kibuga cha karamo jampaka abim police yo yayiridwa era ekoze efujo lyona lyona naye bagambye nedda embera bwetu bweri muganda wa sama Uganda media bwetu embera bweri mu kubanga etambula tuli live abim baganda bange basaba ne banyabo ngeza Obini, Obini, the people. There is a name here. Which name? Obini, 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 Obini. Obini, 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 Obi Obi and you will open your eyes. And when you open your eyes, you will no longer be slaves to Museveni and his family. When I was driving and coming, I looked at the road that comes to Abim. I looked at the poverty that is all over Abim and the greater Karamoja region. I looked at the schools where the children go. And I felt terrible because Karamoja is the richest region in Uganda. 
When I reached here, they told me that there is no even medicine in Abim Hospital. I was planning to visit Abim Hospital today. And because they listened to my phone, they heard me speaking to the members here that I would visit the hospital. And when they heard that Bobby Wine is coming to see Abim Hospital with so many cameras, yesterday in the night they put new beds in the hospital. And he did the same thing to sugar cane. When the when a ton of sugar cane was two hundred and fifty thousand shillings, a kilo of sugar was three thousand five hundred. Today, a kilo of sugar is five thousand. Here, six thousand. You see, today a kilo of sugar is six thousand. But a ton of sugar cane in Busoga is only fifty thousand or eighty thousand. And no Musoga is allowed to sell their own sugar cane. You must sell to the agents who are working for Museven. If they catch you selling sugar cane to the Kenyans by yourself, they put you in prison because you have no right over your own sugar cane. They have done everything on the same. People who grow maize, when you are buying the seed, a kilo is 10,000. But when you harvest your maize, they want to buy a kilo for 200 or 300 or 500. Then they went to Buganda, where they were growing coffee. So don't only look at Bobby Wine as a solution, look at yourself as the solution. When I live here, I want to read Bobby Wines. Who is ready to become another Bobby Wine here in Abim? I like that. We have met so many young men and young women. But even today, I want to challenge you. You. I want to challenge you. You. You are the hope that you are waiting for. You are the change that you are waiting for. Uganda is full of young people. We can change our country forever and ever. Let this suffering end on us. These young babies must never be this suffering. These young children must drive on tarmac roads because you can afford it. By the time these young children have their babies, none of them is supposed to die because there is no medicine in the hospital. Please don't look at this as a dream. This is a reality. And it can happen if we stand together. Now let this message not end today when we live here. Please continue connecting. I myself and a whole lot of young people in Uganda in all regions we are determined to remove Museveni and his Thagare government and I'm here to tell you like I told the people in Busoga that when we remove Museveni your gold is going to be your gold
standing together, especially young people from all over Uganda. People from here in Abim. People from all over Karamoja. People from Western Uganda. People from Eastern Uganda. People from Central Uganda. And young Ugandans in the diaspora. We are working together to bring a new government that will respect the people of Uganda. A government that will know that the money that comes from our taxes is supposed to make our roads. When that day comes, a new page is going to open. A page where police officers and army officers will be keeping law and order, not torturing people. The military is supposed to be guarding Uganda and our borders. Today, now the police are the criminals. I want to tell you today that the day I become president of Uganda, that will be the end of that nonsense. I am looking at young people all over, young people with smart brains, young people with hope, young people with talents. If we make the resources of this land to benefit our people, we can change this country in just three years. So don't only look at Bobby Wine as a solution, look at yourself as the solution. For not being afraid, for believing, for having hope in the future of this region and this country. I've been people I'm suffering every day. They wonder why they continue to live this way. I know that things can change someday. If you really want them to change anyway, Karamoja is a land of abundance. But the people them live in deficiency. Museveni want life presidency. We must abandon that silly tendency. Hello. Thank you for God and my country.